Now, today we are going to show you how to erect the Isabella Magnum porch. First rule, lay the carpet down. This, only, this not only protects your awning, but keeps it nice and clean as well. As you can see, I've made, laid the carpet down right to the end of the, the caravan. For when I lay the awning down, it will still keep it nice and clean as I feed it through the caravan channel. As with all Isabella awnings, they will come with the curtains, draft skirt, all the fixings for the van and the instructions and a nice bag as standard to keep your awning nice and tidy. Now it's time to sort out the frame. My tip, sort out the poles inside the awning and the ones from the outside, separating them to make life easier. With the Isabella Magnum, it comes with a frame. Carbon fibre, very easy to erect. My tip here, to make life easy for when you erect the awning, is to insert the cross members, the poles that go from leg to leg, in at this point, to form a letter T. Top tip, Aquatex. Makes sliding the awning through the caravan channel a lot easier. The whole awning is impregnated with this to make it waterproof, so it will not affect the canvas whatsoever. As you can see, easier than you think. I've positioned the awning so the door is enclosed in the awning with a pad just beside the door. As with all Isabella awnings and porch awnings, fix-ons are supplied as standard. These now need to be placed onto the profile which is underneath the beading on the inside. The fix-ons are designed so you don't have to screw to the side of your caravan. The first one goes in where the middle seam is in the roof and just clamps onto that rail. The outside fix-ons need to be on the seam of the roof and the side panel. So the eyelet is right in the middle. Now let's go inside and erect these, this awning. Now we have the letter T, you will see why this is a lot easier to erect. Find the eyelet in the roof, place the spike through the eyelet, Push the leg up slightly to take the weight off the canvas for you. And now for the first roof pole, the middle one. The middle one has no bayonet fitting on the end. The hook goes into the fix on. The centre leg, push right down. And at this point, tension this pole as much as you can. Now we need to work our way out. Middle, the outside leg. Find the eyelet. And then the roof pole. Into the fix on. into the corner, twist and tension slightly. Now I want to show you why we placed the fix on where we did on the ends. By placing the fix on, on the roof and where it meets the side panel with the eyelet right in the seam, you can see that the pole follows the seam all the way down. And now for the other side. Again, leg in position, in the eyelet, 
and then the roof pole. Into the fix on. The bayonet fitting into the corner, twist, and tension slightly. Now it's time to do the outside canopy poles while the awning is down nice and low. Ensuring that the clamps are away from the canvas. These folds to the sleeve. Ensure in the middle poles, first eyelet, dome shape first, flat edge to flat edge. Eyelet into hook and tension this pole now. Now it's time to tension up the poles on the inside. First pole, the middle leg, ensuring that the spike of the foot into the eyelet. Now for the outside legs, the same. Spike into the eyelet and tension. Using the regulator tab, locks the canvas onto the frame and also gives you the distance of the PVC wall from the ground even all the way along. Top tip here. When you're touching any roof pole, unzip the panel just around the corners and then tension the pole. Zip the panel back up and move on to the next panel. Next task is to place the back legs in position against the pads to give you a nice seal against the caravan. This must be done before you peg, otherwise you'll find it very hard to place this onto the beading. Slide two single clips up the beading. Now it's time to fit the back leg. The clamp system has a quick release grip on well, when you place it on the pole, ensuring the material is behind the canvas, on and lock. Extend the leg down into the regulator tab. Choosing the hole that's best suited to the ground that, you, that you're on. Time to click the single profile around the leg So when we tension and peg later on, you will end up with a nice seal against the caravan. And the same the other side.
now it's time to tension up the canopy. Now to peg the awning out. As with any full awning, the same rules apply to the porch. The first pegs are the ones by the caravan. Starting with the back pegging rubber. Ensuring that all zips are always fully down. The first peg to be underneath the caravan. As with all Isabella awnings, the first peg of rubber at the back is on an adjustable belt and buckle. Doing it up pulls the awning to the caravan. Wherever there's a zip, always cross over the pegging points to keep the zip cover over the zip. Just pull the leg of the front corner into the seam pegging the foot of the frame to the ground, keeping the leg into the seam. Another top tip here, if you push the canvas away from the peg, it prevents you hitting the PVC panel with your hammer or mallet. And now for the same procedure, the other side, first pegging point underneath the caravan. With a belt and buckle, pull the awning towards the caravan. And as the same as the right hand side, pull the leg into the seam, pegging the foot to the ground, giving another perfect straight line down the side of the awning. To form a good seal against the caravan, the pole needs to lean against the caravan as close as possible. If we peg the foot of the leg to the caravan, this helps achieving this. And the small triangle then needs to be pegged alongside the caravan. Placing the mud wall down to the ground, putting the carpet over. Push the leg to the caravan, peg the foot down. Keeping it close to the caravan side and peg the triangle alongside the caravan. Now we need to dress the awning to make it your home. And by achieving that, we now fit the curtains. The wheels have to be put into the eyelets, just pushed in as so. Once you've done this job, there's no need to do it again. The next job is to attach these clips onto the rail that's sewn onto the awning by pushing onto it and pushing down. Once 
Once these are in place, you leave them on, there's no need to take them off. And now to place the curtain onto the rail. Push the wheel into the clip. And by using these clips, you have a nice pleated curtain at the end. And remember, with this system, if you wish to have a print on the inside, you place the wheels on the other side. That's that. And the final touch to dress the curtains, the tie back to be clipped there. And once you've decided which door you're going to use, the door ties need to be connected. The door rolled up. And remember, by pegging this one at an angle, still keeps the door nice and taut.